All right. I washed the truck yesterday. Quick little transition here. Hanging out. Truck number two. You guys have seen that one. This is your idea. You said you wanted to show everybody really quick. Yeah. Cause this is a sweet little setup. Well, everybody asks. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, another video, another quick one for you guys. Hanging out with Alex Leica. Hold on, guys. We got uh, Leica Lawn and Landscape in the house. This is actually a follow-up video to one of the one we just did a few days ago. We're actually freezing our butts off right now. It's like 20 degrees out. But a lot of you guys wanted to see his. And dump. we're wearing the same clothes. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> we shot this video back to back. We like to have fun. Anyway, we're talking about the dump uh, trailer that he uses, his setup. It's actually pretty dope. So a lot of you guys wanted to see just another idea, another option out there for leaf cleanups. You want to do a quick walk around? Sure. All right, let's do this. Here's where we're at. By the way, thanks to Leica for opening up because he doesn't have to share any about his business, but this is going to help a lot of people. So what do we got here? What's going on? You got the uh, 7x14 PJ dump trailer. Okay. Um... Check it out, man. Our custom sides for the leaf trailer. So, what kind of walls do we got here? This thing is sweet, man. Yep. Uh, I think these are two and a half or either three feet. These sides were on the trailer when we bought the trailer. Okay. So, instead of spending $500 in wood, uh, you know, we only spent $120 on our sides. Okay. So, this is all electrical PVC from Home Depot. Uh, so just white plastic uh, tubing? Nope, not white plastic. It's nope. electrical PVC. There's oh. a difference between your okay. your normal, your white PVC and your, this is electrical. Uh, it's a little bit more flexible. Okay. Um, and it's way cheaper. So all right. Fair enough. Good to know. Um, these are all just 45s. The elbows? Yep. All right. 45s up top. It's all glued together. Uh, and then you get the yeah. uh, the tarp here, that uh, the screen, you know, whatever you guys call it. Yep. That, uh, just it's just a standard tarp. Yep. Bolted it on, pulled it tight, okay. stretched. Check uh, that out. So this is seven by fourteen. Yep. And this is pretty uh, typical size up here in Michigan. Yep. That we see. That's about the size you see everywhere up here. So. Yep. Um, this is all pretty much custom. We went to a hardware store for pretty much <clears throat> everything that's on here: bungee cords, eyelets. Check that out. Clips. Here, I'll give them a little rundown yeah. on how it works. Sure. So. Yeah, we did a leaf cleanup on uh, Instagram that we posted. It was a huge one. But I saw this thing in action, and uh, wow, this thing is a tank. And you pull this. I believe you... it works better than most because of the way it's set up. Okay. You know, you get a lot of uh, flexibility with it. Well, yeah, it's smart. You know, doesn't clog ever. Yep. And it's light, very light, super light. You can run with one arm. You know, that's if awesome. You wanted to the whole time or whatever you got to do. Yep. That's what's up. All right, what's uh, the debris loader? Your uh, your vac. Yeah. Well, let's go. Uh, 16 horsepower. Got the, the Vanguard. Vanguard engine. Shout out the it's Vanguard. They're good people. Yep. Um, <clears throat> that's pretty cool. And so everything just ejects into it, fills up from the back forward, right? Yep. And then uh, you've actually had guys jump inside there to compact it even more. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. So not so that's there. why we just got it all tied up in the front there. Yep. Because uh, when the, when you had a guy disappear in there for about ten minutes one day, I was like, where's he going? Yeah. You're he like, he'll, to go pack the leaves. He'll be he'll be back. <laughs> so this is pretty cool. And then you got your toolbox up front. Yep. This is all uh, welded, obviously, so that our box is still open. Yep. That's what. Good for you, man. Is that? Hand tools uh, on the These side. are, I forget who makes these. The, maybe these are the buyer's racks. I don't know. We both put them on with wood. Yeah, I mean. Mm -hmm. All our rakes. There's a lot of brands that sell all those. Scooper shovels. Edge trimmers. Yeah. And I'll come back here. That's what's up, man. Plants and stuff, so. That's awesome. Uh, what about the, uh, you got the barn style doors or do you got the ramp? Oh, uh, barn style. Oh. Uh, we got our trailer ramps under here and then, uh. Here, I'll show them. Well, actually, we have leaves in there. We can't show them. But, no, that's uh, fine. That's fine. Yep. But this is a 2x4 to keep it locked. Yep. Okay. Just to keep the doors from balling out. Sure. Uh, and you built, you, did it came with the wall? Pretty clean. What's that? Did it come with the walls or did you build it them? It came with the doors and everything. So, yeah. all we did, we just put our 2x4s here to reinforce them. Um, What's a setup like this go for? What do you think? Six, seven, eight grand? Yes. Done right? Yeah. Uh, well, what can it go for? trailer for. You know, cheat less than that, so. Right. 
This uh, a dump trailer like this is brand new. The leaf loader we got used. We painted it. We welded it. You know, we fixed it all up. So right. You know. This uh, this kind of a setup. The uh, the dump trailers they're between seriously six and nine grand. Um, once you start building the walls, what you get another five hundred dollars of wood yep. at least. Um, the leaf loader, the um, vacuum, that's anywhere from fifteen hundred to three grand, depending which one you get. Yep. Right. I mean, this was used for for five hundred bucks. So. Right. And you can. Nine yet. Yeah, to go spend a few hundred dollars on a tube and everything, but uh, sure. um, show them the side because I bet you everyone's going to be like, oh, how does it dump and whatever. Yeah. All you got to do is untie everything, disconnect, pull your chute to the side. Okay. And dump straight up. So. Not bad at all, uh, man. Good for you. Yeah. I've seen this thing in action. This is a tank. It's, uh, I mean, ideally, Brandon and I might uh, throw it out for one of these and get something similar. So, show them. So, anyways. In the back here, uh, we went to our local Car one? trucker supply yeah. store. What is that? Uh, picked up a big old mud flap. Okay. And we welded a piece of angle iron on the back of that mud flap there. Uh, chained it all, bolted it, uh, chained it to the top. And that's for when it probably ejects through. Oh uh, yeah. So when it shoot shoots right through, through, that way it doesn't shoot through the tarp. So look at that. You can see how well it works and everything. So. That's actually pretty sweet. So that, yeah, so that way it shoots down and then we'll start back filling. Yep, good for you, man. And how many uh, cubic yards, how many yards oh, can you fit in this? Shoot. You were saying like 20? I think these are five. When you're standing in the trailer and you're on the floor, yeah. these are about five feet high. Okay. Um. So what, six? No, I don't know. I really don't know. So, I don't know. When I'm in, the, in there and I'm on the floor, I can barely touch the top, so. You can fit probably... 15 yards in there, 20 yards. Probably 25 or more. Jeez, OP. Yeah. That's what's up. That's cool, man. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this kind of stuff. If so, do me a favor, shoot the video a big thumbs up. It's just here to help you guys out. Again, I don't have all the answers. That's why I got Leica, right? Yeah. <laughs> Leica's got all the answers. Yep. <laughs> and again, I have no problem learning from somebody uh, 10 years younger than me, man. That's what and then, that's, uh, that's what makes, for YouTube, the spring that's what makes too, YouTube fun. Uh, for the springtime, when the spring comes around, all we gotta do is take our, you know, take our side, unscrew all our 45s, Lift it right up. One guy can lift it, so yeah, <laughs> you're good to go. One guy can lift it right off and store it in the shop. Take the tarp off. You know, I'm having. So. All right, guys. So hopefully you enjoy this one. A lot of sunlight. I can barely keep my eyes open. But uh, this is just a quick little intermission. We did uh, like his video uh, about the different uh, stainless steel versus the steel dump insert. This is just a spur of the moment kind of thing. So mm -hmm. uh, we didn't really have anything that you know a formal script on this guy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you do, uh, shoot a big thumbs up and th say thanks to Alex. This is just to get your guys' gears turning to just give you some ideas in the future. So super appreciate the time, bro. Yeah, that was good. Anything else you want to add, really quick? Follow me on Instagram. Follow him on Instagram. Like a lawn landscape. I'll make sure to leave a little plug here. So Facebook too. Facebook too? Yeah. My man, right? There, so. I like it. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed it, don't forget the thumbs up. And if you guys are new to the channel, hit the little subscribe button and definitely uh, follow along. And if you guys enjoyed this video, check out these other ones here. I think you guys will really enjoy them. And guys, we'll see you on the next video.